so what's up guys in this video we'll be learning how to send our ethereum from layer 2 solution to layer 1 is that right so the layer 2 solution we are using here is arbitrum so the link to this particular interface will be dropped in the description so the first thing you do is to go to bridge.arbitrum.io then click on login login in will bring up this prompt to connect your wallet so the wallet we already have installed is metamax wallet so you click on metamax and it connects accordingly so once it's connected you notice that here shows what log out so notice arbitron one is in mainlet beta which currently includes administrative controls looking for fast bridges and direct click here so layer two balance is this so the token that I want to actually send to layer one is ethereum so we are going to enter the amount of ethereum that I want to withdraw to layer one and we hit on what withdraw and it says we're well, withdrawing ethereum to ethereum so this transaction will take eight days wow wow after the eight days return to this bridge to claim your funds on ethereum mainlet one note this claim will incur a secondary their one gas fee most funds to ethereum so because it will be taking eight days we will not want to do this at the moment so since we could not send our tokens from arbitrum to our layer one at wallet so we'll definitely make use of another service which is the hop exchange so the hop exchange actually helps you bridge between different layers is all right so i select the network that i want to use in this case my x is in arbitrum network then i select where i want to send my x to which is what ethereum mainlet ethereum mainlet is your default ad wallet hope this makes sense we've actually made a video on how to swap between all these networks so do well to check the video up there now so while using hub exchange you can also make yourself or wallet eligible for future airdrops so this is not financial advice we are not airdrop hunters they just a way to show you to adopt new technologies early so once i select the right networks i click on max and i actually want to withdraw everything so but i want to leave one or two dollars in arbitrum supposing i eventually want to do something with it okay so i'll be withdrawing 0 0.1145 right so 0 0.1145 is what i'll be withdrawing so 0 0.11 four five so four five so that i'll have balance of two dollars left in my wallet okay so this is exactly what i'll be getting eventually because the fees will be deducted from the amount i want to transfer all right so the fees is about eight dollars or so so let us check the fees all right so for those of you wondering where what this is this is actually a calculator that i use to exchange between coins is all right so the fees that copy it right so let's see what the fees looks like so copy 0 0.002914 so i paste it here to see exactly how much i'm paying so this about 8.5 dollars or there about all right so that is the fees almost 10 dollars so it is fair enough compared to paying 50 dollars 100 dollars for gas fees and crazy all right so you just go ahead and hit click what send so i'm sending out my head from arbitrum to me let's estimate receipt is this so we can send and it sends is all right so that's exactly how to send your ethereum from layer 2 to layer 1 using the hop exchange remember doing it on the arbitrum network by default will cost you more all right cost your time and um, we are not even sure of the gas fee so it's better to use it and we'll receive it from you know it's your mainlet just in a bit is all right so this service that i use is coinbase.com forward slash converter i'll drop it in the description 
can just use ethereum to usd converter and you should be able to see it let's check our wallet now to see if it has dropped in our wallets all right so as you can see here we have confirmations 9 of 20 confirmations so we just let it be so it should drop any moment from now so that is actually a very simple way to transfer assets from layer 2 to layer 1 and the cost of gas is very very negligible compared to when you are transferring in the normal ethereum network i'm sure many of us that use this uniswap and she swap can attest to this a whole lot of hundreds of dollars have been spent on gas fees all right so hope you got value in this video if you have any questions drop it in the comment section below do well to support our channel by smashing the subscribe button right away also like and share this video so as you can see our ethereum has dropped and this is what we have in all you do always do your research peace out